change matrix in this case as you can see I filled out the rest of the change points and you can see all the function list compared with the uh, change points are already identified either a non-concern or a potential concern or a confirmed concern in this case as we said previously you can add your comments on each potential concern or confirmed concern what do you think about it and a little bit or a little hint about why do you think it's a potential concern why do you think it's a confirmed concern and so on so you can see here we have two confirmed concerns as moving forward, we will meet with the design review members and go back to the change matrix. We will meet with our design review members and confirm with them which of these potential concerns can be a confirmed concern or a no concern. So those triangles will not stay here. You will meet with your design review members and related experts and try to get a feedback from them on if this is a confirmed concern or a no concern at all and you add your comments in your references and moving forward but uh, for the sake of explanation we will take those two confirmed concerns to our next steps in this example just for the sake of demonstration as we said this is a pure virtual example nothing real we are just making up topics so that we can show you how do you go from visualization all the way uh, to change matrix and all the way to the five wise charts and the a rank worksheet so in this way you identify all the possible concerns in your product and help your team and yourself to make the product as perfect as possible and as durable as possible before it reaches the hand of the customer that's the whole point of the rbfm as we said before so we have here two concerns one of them regarding the pcb change we said we're going from design a to design b and the change is a processing capability change so we're going from uh, a lower processing pro processing capability circuit into a higher capability circuit to be able to encapsulate the projection in it and the projection uh, possibilities for that watch the second one is the projection assembly we are having brand new design that's been introduced to the watch so you're having a projection assembly that's being introduced to the watch and embedded in the circuit of the watch adding the needed hardware and adding the needed software changes so that we can deliver a new feature to that watch in this case the confirmed concern is in protection and packaging we have a concern that we are introducing a new assembly to the previous design and this new assembly there could be a concern since we are shrinking in size for the touch screen and we're trying as well in the touch screen area to encapsulate that projection assembly that could be a concern we could run out of space putting the old components as they are in the in the in the smartwatch and adding a new assembly to it that needs some care let's say and uh, considering the space and dimensions and clearances for for that change and for the pcb we're going from a to b we're saying here processing circuit is not allocating the needs for handling the projection assembly so we are designing a new circuit that can handle more processing but did we did we analyze if we need a dedicated circuit for analyzing the projection and being able to deliver the projection through the projection hardware so as we said before projection could be a hardware and a software thing which is for sure and uh, the hardware part is the lenses and the lasers and so on and the software part is encapsulating whatever input and output data that being projected and bringing it back to the CPU of that watch and analyzing that data. So that is a lot of load to the PCB that needs to be considered as well. So now we've finished with our change matrix. This is how it looked like. As we said, we shouldn't have any orangey triangles when we confirmed or after our design review with, with the experts. We should clear them out keep on the green or red either confirmed or non-confirmed concern in this case so let's jump into our design review member list this list at this point you already finished your change matrix and you are ready to present something to to your design review members and handle the first design review meeting with your team and with the suppliers as well 
So in this case, you need to set up something, but before you do that, you want to list all the names that you may need in reviewing the, the change matrix and delivering a durable product. That involves people from your company who are the heads of each department or the main engineer who is responsible for, for that specific engineering part about the product. And in the same time, the main or key suppliers that, that are concerned or the suppliers who are related to the concern points that are identified in your change matrix. Okay, so for design review members, in this case, we have company X, which is our company, the company who is producing smartwatches, as we talked before. The department is general engineering. The participant name is Joe Winston, if you recognize that name. The title is engineering manager. How you get those, those are already listed previously in the change comparison list and in the function list, if you remember. So that's the function list. We have those names as lead departments and engineers and assembly parts and departments listed in here. So we transfer them there as members from our company, but we still have members from, from different companies and different suppliers who are participating or part of this product as well. So we have Tony, we have Sally, we have Jack. We already know those names and we just list them in this way. Participant name, title, company name and department. Then I just put another example here, which is uh, near to the real life uh, DRBFM sheets. So you have the touchscreen supplier. In this case, we are assuming X company is building the watch, but the touchscreen and the battery and the biometric sensors are being supplied by a different supplier. So there is somebody who's building those touchscreens, which is the case in most companies in real life. Touchscreen is being produced by a company who's dedicated for designing touchscreens. And that's why company, who from that company will be uh, attending that design review meeting. That's a lead product design, Jane Liu in this case, and the title is engineering lead. And from battery supplier, which is a Z company, we have advanced system engineering as a department. There will be Kim Dave, who's a systems engineer. For biometric sensors supplier, we have V company. Uh, from the department of sensor test uh, sensors testing, we have Sarah Taylor from uh, she is a systems development scientist again i'm making up all those names uh, just for the sake of explanation so what would you do first you want to assign first second third and fourth design review dates so today is uh, assuming it is uh, september 16 2020 let's say in two weeks you want to be able to meet uh, with those members so we can say september 30 2020 that's the first one then in a second month after a month of review you will meet with the with a second iteration with those teams so let's say February 15 2020 or October 15 2020 in this case and uh, after that November 15 2020 and let's say December 15, before the end of the year, you will be able to finalize your DRBFM. Let's assume that your development will finish by the end of the year and the new year you will start production. So you want to make sure everything is in place in this case. And that's it. You start to put if it is invited when the meeting finished, did he attend so that you will uh, hold him accountable in the future. If you have any failures, you say, hey, I already discussed with you. I already invited you for that meeting. You didn't show up. So we thought there's no concerns there. Of course, I mean, do always proactive maintenance, as we said, not because if somebody disappeared or didn't attend the meeting, that mean we need that product to fail from that specific part or that, that specific supplier. We need eventually the part to be delivered as durable as possible. So you want to stress on letting those people attend your meetings at the first place by letting them understand how important it is to attend those kinds of meetings. By doing that, if you already did your first review with the teams, you go back to your change matrix, remove all those triangles. Hopefully they're all resolved. If there's one or two left, you do another design review as needed and so on. When, when you finish the change matrix and you have only confirmed concerns, then you are ready to move to your A rank DRBFM worksheet, which we'll talk about next.